you're losing his salary next year. Um, you, you lost Corey Dickerson's salary next year. There's going to be some other salaries coming off the books. You're going to have to pay Josh Bell a little bit more money. Your, your, your money next year is going to be around $60 million. So, hey, why don't you go out and spend $40 million this year, right? And you're still below league average. You're at $100 million. Go spend $40 million. You could get a Rendon. You could get a starting pitcher. I mean, you could get well, a lot for $40 million. There we go. I've been looking at this list. And uh, I would say you can get Garrett Cole, Strasburg, Bumgarner, and Quintana. There's your, <laughs> there's your first four pitchers right there. Have uh, Archer as your fifth starter, Musgrove, Williams, all those guys. They go, just go in the bullpen. Go into the bullpen. Problem solved. All right. Well, I'm glad you saw How much do you think Garrett Cole's going to get? Uh, did, 20, did at see, least 20, see, 20, you 20 you 22. You see the top pitcher on this list. Yeah. His war, that number there. He's going to get one. He's going to get two hundred fifty million. Two hundred fifty million 200, 200, over million. what? Eight to ten years. Yep, he's going to get two hundred million or something. Watch. And you know that'll just go to show you that that's what Josh Bell's going to do. Same agent. He's going to if he continues to have the kind of numbers that he has. Strasburg is you know he's going to he's going to cash in big time. He's so gonna, where would you go down this list? How about Zach Wheeler, Jose Quintana? Um, See, he here's the thing. Jose option. Quintana has got a club option, but he's the guy they should have traded for three years yes, ago. Yes, you're right. They and it's funny. Everybody, you know, made the big deal about it. You know, it would have given – they would have had to give up, like, Nick Kingham, Tyler Glass now, and, and, and you know, Polanco. Where is Nick Kingham now? Exactly. And, and Tyler Glass now didn't and, fit here. And they, and they gave him up for, you know, Archer, which is not as good – has not been as good as Quintana is. And then – uh, Polanco has been hurt. If they'd have given up those three guys, it would have, you know, they could already have Quintana. But I'm looking at this list. I mean, you know, it'd be interesting to see what Madison Bumgarner gets. I think someone will give him more 20 money. 20 million? Someone will give him more money than he probably should get at his age. So, I mean, I'm looking down this list. You, you can scratch all these guys off. I mean, the whole first list. Here's, you can scratch here's, off. here's where you start with Homer Bailey. Guys like Homer Bailey. Which I looked at him early on because that could be a guy that they could get a deal on. He's an older guy. I'll Maybe tell you, they wait, can fix him. I'll tell you another guy. And if, you know, if Neil Huntington and everybody else, if they all survive, meaning it's the same philosophy that we've seen for however long, here's a guy that they're going to go get. Gio Gonzalez. Reclamation Project. Who is it? Michael Walker. Watch. Okay. Uh, what you, about Shelby Miller? He, Let's he, go with the other Michael, Walker, he's on this list, right, somewhere? Yeah, here he is. See? They're going to say, reclamation project, just needs to get in Uncle Ray's uh, laboratory. <laughs> uh, we'll get him for cheap. He's going to become the next Edison Volquez or the next uh, Liriano from 2013. We'll go with all those you guys. I, 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 I I'm agree telling you, you that's, that's the kind of, you know, we, we're looking at the top of the list. Boy, this is what, you know, they're going to look at the bottom of this list and say, which guy on the bottom of this list has had some success in the past. Shelby Miller, too, against them. Michael Walker. Well, I'm saying Michael yeah, Walker, I know. Actually, I, yeah. you know what I mean? He's had all yeah. kinds of injury issues. So they're like, well, you know, we can get him healthy. He's got to be rested. With his stuff, we can recapture it. There's a couple little tweaks to his delivery. We'll get him going, and we can get him for $4 million a year. I would say watch out for this guy, Gio Gonzalez, too. That's another guy that they've always had their eye on, um, whether it be trades or wanting to try to sign, he might be a guy that they might try to go out and get on how the cheap. How about Corey Kluber? 34. Let's see how close we are to the offseason <laughs> I mean, win. Let's uh, see if they, they uh, That's to my prediction guys. is they'll go uh, get a guy like Michael Michael Walker. Walker is second to last. Right. All right, let's go out to Pat out in Rockwood. What's up, Pat? Hey, all, all you guys down there in Allegheny County, Washington County, stay down there this winter. Don't Where's Rockwood? Springs. Where in the Rockwood's heck is Rockwood? Up, Somerset County, Seven Springs. Okay. Don't come up here and give Bob Nutting any more money. All the pirate money comes up here to Seven Springs, and he gets to charge $85 to go skiing. Stay down there. Watch <laughs> a penguin. Don't give him no money. Hey, Pat, I honestly don't even know anyone that goes skiing to Seven Springs. Well, well actually, Susan Copen does. Yeah. People go skiing. Yeah, people do. It's sold out a lot of times in the winter. Uh, I don't go, and I'm just not a skier. But thanks, Pat. I appreciate you telling us to stay here in Allegheny County. All right, let's go out to uh, Rick out in Elwood. Rick out in Elwood. What's up, Rick? Slick Rick. Every night about we talk every night about Hurdle and and, and Sarage. 
it's one problem. It's I, Bob Nutting. I know what you're going to say. I, I say that every single night, Rick. But he doesn't spend any money. Uh, he had Cole. let him go. They just don't, it's never going to change. It's been like this 20 years. It will never change. Rick, Trump, how do you fix it then? We say this every night. Give me a way to fix it. How do you fix it? Like every, every team in Major League spent $150 million. That's about, they're going to spend $150 million, period. Okay, but I, I understand that. But how do you fix uh, Bob Nutting not being cheap? We're not going to get we'll a get salary, a salary We're not going to get a salary, a salary cut. cut. Until that's what that you happens, need. Well, then it's not going to change. Million. Yeah. You make the million selling $150 million, he'll get out. He won't stay. Well, that's going to be up to the, 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 pirate, the, the player is going to be willing to there you go. hold out. For something here's, like that. Here's the plan. Okay, go ahead. Trade Josh Bell, <laughs> sign Anthony Rizzo. There you go. Problem solved. And Rendon. <laughs> Let's get Rendon, Rendon Rizzo, and, and try to bring Garrett and, Cole and back. Garrett, Garrett Cole, and who was the other? And, and Quintana, and there was one other. Oh, Strasburg. And, and the funny thing is, even if they signed all these guys, they still would be under the league average somehow. Yeah. Let's go out to Jim in Bethlehem, New Bethlehem. What's up, Jim? Jim. Okay, Jim just hung up. Ben. Ben. Ben Holidaysburg. What's up, Ben? Hey, guys. How you doing tonight? Good. Thanks for calling. Hey, you know, I, I first, first of all, I'm a first-time caller. And I swore that I would never call on my first call and talk about the Pirates. Okay. All right. So I hear about the Pirate talk night in, night out. You know, we talk about, you know, I'm starting to hear this stuff about, uh, you know, the fans and season ticket holders not renewing, everything else. I don't, I mean, we talk about that all the time. What's going to change? What's going to change? You know, you hear about social media and you hear about Colin Kaepernick and the effects that he had, you know, with his whole thing. Why can't we start talking more about corporate loss as far as sponsorships, you know, TV time, you know, whatever it right. is to well, start the you know affecting things. Hey Ben, you bring up you bring up a point here. Um, PNC part PNC's rights are up next year, right? Yeah, that could affect them. AT and T Sportsnet's rights are up. I mean, these are two big. And from what I understand, they're swinging for the fences in terms of trying to get a good deal from AT and T. And the problem that AT and T has is if they don't have the pirates. What do they do for programming for the middle of the summer? So they've kinda, they kind of have them held hostage a little bit. Yeah, and from what I understand is the Pirates want a, a, a shorter-term deal, and AT&T wants a, big, a longer deal. So I, I don't know. I'm sh something's going to happen because where are the Pirates going to go next year? Yeah. That, that's where would they be televised? That's what the, other place around the, would right. pick them up? The point is, though, AT&T Sports, if there's no – Pirates. Do they just have penguins? What are they going to do for all those months? All right. Well, we got to take a break. Boar, more about the Buckos. Maybe we'll get some Steelers calls. You know, you know, the Steelers have a third preseason game. Steelers season starting. Everyone wants to talk about the Pirates, who, by the way, have been outscored. Wait 40, a minute. I 42 got it. to 6. Edison Volquez. 42 to 6. Edison Volquez is on the market. I How see him. How old is he right now? 36. We'll be back in a couple minutes. 36. 36. He's perfect.